This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set up a cocktail table on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, we're going to do it on our tabletop mini cocktail table here. But essentially I'm going to show you how to switch a screen orientation, um, add a vertical theme, split screen the cocktail, set your ROMs up to do cocktail on either side, and turn off bezels if you need to do that on your image. So stick around. So there's a couple things you're going to do first to set up a cocktail table. The first thing is, is you're going to be able to rotate the screen. So instead of it being landscape, again, this is just a 24 inch monitor. Instead of it being landscape, you want it obviously to, to rotate to be vertical. So I'll show you that here in a second. The other thing is you want to get some kind of vertical theme. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you that now to get those two steps done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just put your SD card uh, with the image on it into your computer. It's going to ask to format. Don't format it or you'll wipe everything. Uh, just select the partition and you'll go down to config.txt. Double click it, it'll open up a notepad. And then somewhere in here, and I'll put this in the description, I'll put all, all the code that we use, we'll put in the description, is display rotate equals one. Uh, there's no hashtag here, it's not commented out. One would be 90 degrees. Or you could do three, which would be the, the 270 degrees. Um, so you might have to do the one, boot it, make sure it's the right direction. If not, change that to three and save it off. So just to show you here, I can go into the Raspberry config from the options. This is on most, uh, this is on most images now. I'm just going to use a keyboard. But what you're going to want to do, just to make life easy, you could do it all from here. But so you can access them on your computer. If you go to interfacing options, Go to SSH and enable that, and then just uh, hit finish whenever you're done with that. That'll allow us to access our, um, our Pi from our computer on our network. Okay, so the Hursty theme's probably already installed in your options, so you could just go into that to find any of his vertical themes. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how to add it if you don't see it in there. But essentially, this is just a theme so we can get the vertical, um, the vertical look. So type in your IP address, hit enter, it's going to ask for your pi. This is typically lowercase pi, pi, press enter, and then raspberry, all lowercase. Okay, so once I'm in here, I'll, again, this will be in the um, this will be in the description, but there's basically three lines of code that we need to do. And all you do is just, I'm just copying them, right clicking, and then pressing enter. And so that's installed those. It already exists here, so um, I already had it on that image. Okay, so rebooted my Pi. You'd reboot your Pi. You can see in the options, we now have the uh, Hursty's themes. Okay, then once you're in here, you'll just go down to the vertical aspect themes. And then you can actually just install both of those. Um, but you can see I installed the bottom one. So just install those and exit back out. Okay, so to switch to that um, theme now that we have the rotation how we want, I'm going to press the start key and then I'm going to go down to UI settings, press the A button to go forward, and then you just go to theme set and this is where you can go in and find that theme. This is the one I'm using, the vertical limit theme. So uh, once you hit that and you hit back, it'll take it a second down here to load. Um, I already have it loaded, so I'm good there. So you can see now I have my vertical theme uh, when I go in. Okay, so uh, let's just play a vertical game. I just picked 1943 just to show the this, you know, the simplest uh, version of this, which is just basically a nice vertical game on a vertical screen playing one player. So you can see how nice that looks. It just fills up the full screen. Uh, I can add my money, hit start, and uh, I'm good to go there. So this is, you know, this is the most basic thing here of your cocktail table would be any of your vertical games and just how great that looks on here uh, for one player. So you'll be able to see. So let's see, I got my, I can play that. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that and talk about some other, uh, some other things you're going to want to do here. All right, I just want to talk about bezels real quick. If your image has bezels set up, they look awesome whenever you're running a, in a landscape mode. But whenever you switch it to portrait, 
it'll actually cover up your game. So we, first thing we're gonna do is let's just turn bezels off. Um, it's really simple to do. So we'll turn off bezels for the entire uh, machine because there's no need to have them on this vertical setup. Okay, so if bezels are turned on on your image, uh, there's, a, there's a setting in the bezel project that's probably all that they enabled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. I went into options, I'm gonna go to bezel project. Uh, you'll wanna have a keyboard hooked up. So just have a keyboard. Uh, just to make this simpler so basically saying do you want to proceed i'm going to say yes and then what i want to do is i'm going to go to disable a system pack and you could do this for all of them you just come in and just scroll down to the one you want and you press enter that's final burn alpha is what i'm running uh, that gallagher rom off so i'm just going to hit okay here and it'll turn it off and then i'm going to exit out so now everything running that emulator. So again, you could go down through all the emulators and do that. Would we'll turn it off. So you can see there, I went ahead and rebooted. After I rebooted, the, uh, the bezels are gone. So now let's go ahead and set this up for cocktail mode. Um, I'm going to go into RetroArch by holding down my select and pressing X, which is the top middle. And what I want to do here is I want to go to um, options. Um, A is forward, B is back, options. And if the ROM had a cocktail mode, which I already have it set up here, this right here, I can push left and right on my joystick. That'll be set to default upright. You want to make sure that's set to cocktail. And then this is important. You'll go up to game options file and just press the A button. And when you do, you'll see that it saved. Um, it saved. So now I'm good there. So I'm going to go back with the B. Back with the B. Quick menu. I'm going to press A. And then you have to restart the game in order for it to work. Okay, so uh, the game's restarted. So I can add some money here. This is important. I'm not going to press the player one start. I'm going to come around here and press the player two start. And when I did, you can see here that I have my one up and then my two up. So this will take a second because I need to die to show you that it switches to the other controls. But you can see here that I'm good um, on my standard setup. So we'll let one of them come down and kill me. And so now, since it's set to cocktail mode, it'll automatically rotate. You can see that. And now my player two controls will actually work. So that's how you set up cocktail mode. So not every ROM had that, but if you just Google cocktail mode or the ones you remember from when you were a kid, uh, those will be set up to do that. So now let's talk about a cocktail mode in a uh, split screen. So to do the uh, split screen on the cocktail mode, we essentially need to add a shader. And again, this will be in the description. So I just puttied into the machine like I did before. And essentially what we're gonna do is say, take me to this folder. Oops, take me to this folder. And then um, go out and get the shader. So again, I'm just right clicking. It's just these two lines of code, right click, press enter. It'll go out and get it and uh, pull it down. And that's all we need to do here. Okay, so we added that shader. So I'm going to go into a two-player game here where you would play two guys at, at one time. Let's go ahead and boot into Street Fighter. And basically what I want to do again is I'm going to split screen this where this guy can play off a screen that way and this guy can play off a screen that way on their two-player. So you can see right now it's just filling the screen. Um, let's get some pictures. Just filling the screen, right? So we're going to split screen that. So I'm going to hold down coin and go into X. And all I'm going to do is add that shader uh, that we just added. So I'm going to go to shaders. Again, I'm going to press the A key to go over. And then all you have to do is come down to um, shader passes, push right on your joystick. And then we're going to go into the shader here. I'm going to press the A key. And this is the one we want is the cocktail cab portrait. So I'm going to press OK on that. This I'll change to linear. This I'll change. I change it to 5x. I don't know. Sometimes it just does a little bit better uh, picture on it. And this is important. At the top, I'm going to hit Apply Changes. 
And as you back out, go down to the configuration override. I'm gonna press A. This is important, don't do it for the core. That'll save it for everything on this uh, FB Alpha emulator. Just go down and save it to the game and it'll give you a little save successfully there. So then just back out. So I'll go to a quick menu, push A and then resume. And you can see now as I add my players. So there's my player one I'm playing on this side. I can hit start over here and add my player two. So you can see both players can um, can now play in a cocktail mode. So uh, this is really awesome. So again, this Raspberry Pi, um, super easy setup. Once you uh, do a lot of Googling and figure it out, or if you get lucky and someone just takes the time to make a video like this to set up a cocktail. So again, this is our little mini hybrid uh, cocktail table. Um, I'm gonna have some future videos showing uh, how the pinball works on Windows systems and things like that. But uh, Raspberry Pi fits in here fine. Um, everything you need. Uh, so make sure and visit GameRoomSolutions.com and like the video. Thanks.